All right, we just talked about the stage two control arms. Now we're going to talk about the stage three and stage five. Now remember with Fat Man, stage refers to what type of spring you're using. Stage two being cold spring and separate shock like most production cars have. Stage four being air ride with separate spring and bag. Stage three is coal overs or shock waves. Fortunately, Ride Tech builds their shock waves with the exact same lengths and the exact same bushing sizes as the QO and coal overs or the Ride Tech we use optionally on our suspensions. So let's go over this. Starting from outboard to inboard, one of the more critical things is this is the order that the parts assemble. The spacer is used under the castle nut on top of the spindle to get the castle nut up where the uh, cotter pin will work out. So what you've got to be sure to do is take both of these off, put the spindle on over the boot, and then put the spacer on and then the nut. Now, I'll say once again, this is not designed to be a hermetic or a pressure seal. It's the job of the grease ball that's around the stud and the ball joint to keep the water and the dirt out. All the boot does is try to keep that grease contained. That's how you know you have enough grease when it burps out a little bit when you're filling it. So be sure to do that. That'll also help your ball joint boot stay uh, in sh proper shape. If you're going to be working on your car for an extended period of time and it may not be at proper ride height, that funky angles on your ball joints can damage these boots. So it's not an uncommon thing to leave them off while you're uh, working on the car for a long period of time. The next thing is these spacers that are used on the bottom. Note that there's a taper on them. The small side goes outboard and matches the tab underneath. The larger part goes inside and contains the bushing as an extra safety feature. Now on your upper control, lower control arm here, it's important that you use anti-seize on this bolt. It's important when you've got plain bolts, it's critical when you use stainless. Stainless put together dry will weld itself together like you can't believe. Now we'll talk about the upper arm. 